Well, good morning. Today we're going to learn how to use one of these things. A USB stick. In your case, you have a camera that the computer thinks is one of these. It's a storage device. So we're going to plug your camera or your USB stick into the computer. We're going to find the pictures and movies that we want to work with and we're going to get them off of this stick and onto your computer so that you can use them. And that involves uh, some new skills for you. So keep watching. I'm going to flip the camera around so we can see the desktop and we'll start learning how to use this to get the work done that you want. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to uh, plug my drive in right here. Let's get that plugged in. And maybe you can hear the sound and now you can see that it's being plugged in. So now uh, we can see my hard drive that it's opened up and here, right here is the drive that we just plugged in. It's called Kingston and it's drive H. You can see that it's got brackets and then it's got the colon. So that tells you that's drive H. And if I double click on that, it will open up that drive. And now we can see the files that are stored inside that stick or in your case on your phone. And so let's just have a quick look around this window here. Uh, you notice up at the top in the menu bar, there's a, there's a button called view. And if you click on view, you'll get to see these files in different ways. So let's look at them extra large. And if we click on extra large, now we actually get a preview of what the file is. Medium. Well, you can kind of see large. Yeah, you can kind of see tiny like this details. If we click on details and look, I can resize this window a little bit. Let's resize it. Details tells me the date that we made it. So if you're looking for files from a particular day, you might need to see the date modified column and it tells me the type, the JPEG, JPG file. See over here, it says uh, the movies dot JPG. That means it's a picture. Here's another one, Parker's Ice Cream Sunday dot JPG. It's a JPEG file, that's a picture. This one is an MP4. See, it says here dot mp4 and over here it says that's an mp4 file an mp4 file is a movie so if you're just looking for movies you need to look for mp4s there are other kinds of movie files too uh, there are uh, mov files movie mov a v i it is a kind of movie uh, MKV is a kind of movie or a WMV is a kind of movie. There might be some other ones too, but the main ones you'll find will be MOV or MP4, maybe AVI, but you'll get used to working with different kinds. So these are, this is a way for you to see, and let's switch up to large. And I can still see when I click on large here, I can still see the name of the file and I can see it's a JPEG and if I mouse over it it tells me type mp4 file and the size and when it was made and the same thing with this one when I mouse over it it's JPEG file so if you've been taking pictures there are going to be a lot of JPEGs on your device on your camera movie camera on your iPhone or whatever device you're using to take pictures you'll find a lot of JPEGs and if you've been shooting movies maybe a lot of mp4s now I want to get uh, these things off of this device and I want to get them onto my computer 
because on the computer I can do things to them and I can't really do that while they're on this device so I'm going to want to move them off so let's take this one let's say I want this one and you notice when I click on it over here I get a lot of information about it and now uh, so I give a left click on this and then I give a right click and I can come down here and I can say copy And then I'm going to come over to the desktop and I'm going to click right here on the desktop. Notice when I click this, the top bar lights up green to tell me that this is active. So once I right click and copy, I've got to come over here and click. And you see when I do that, that this bar goes black. And that tells me that this has kind of gone to sleep for a minute and now I'm working on this space and this space is the computer. And so now I'm going to right click and I'm gonna push paste and there's my movie. So now I have a copy. There's the original one and there's a copy of it right there, a copy. You can also do this with the keyboard. If I come over here to this picture and I pick it like this and I can hold down the control key and I press, while I'm holding down control, I press C and that is copy. And then when I come over here and I click again and you notice up here, this bar changes color. So now I'm back on the desktop and I press and hold control key and hold it down and press V and look, oh, it's over there. There's the picture. So there's two ways to get it. You can pick it with the mouse and do a left click, right click and copy, or you can do a control C for copy and a control V for paste. Now let's just get rid of these for a second. I'm deleting them here. They're still over here. Let's say I had a whole bunch of pictures here and I want to get them all, but I don't want to do this one at a time. So I just pick this first one and I hold down the shift key and I click the last one. And now you notice all of them have changed. They've all highlighted. And now I can control C and I come over here and click. Don't forget that step and control V and look, there's all three of them. So you can do three files, five files, 100 files, 150 files. You can do as many as you want. Just remember, if you do a lot of them, it could take a long time for them to copy and paste. OK, but that's how you will get your pictures off of your device and onto your computer. And if you're running out of space on your device now, that you know you have copies of them. When you're certain of that, you could go in here and say, well, I don't need that anymore. So you highlight it and press the delete key and it'll ask me, are you sure you want to permanently delete this? And you say, yes. Or I can click this one, hold down the shift key and click the last one. And okay, now I got them all and I can right click and come down and Delete, are you sure you want to permanently delete these two items? Yes, and they're gone. Where did they go? They went in here, in the recycle bin. There they are. And let's say, I made a terrible mistake, I need that picture back. If you haven't taken out the recycling, just like at home, if you put something in the recycle bin, like a piece of art, and then you think, oh, no, no, I don't want to recycle that. I, I need that for school. You can go and take it out of the recycle bin. But once you put the recycle bin out and the, and the men come and take it away, you can't get it back. So it's the same thing. If you empty the recycle bin, it's gone for good. You can't get it back. If you wanted to get it back, you would pick it like this, left click it once, and right click and see it says restore. And it's going to try to restore it on the desktop, but you could put it back. It'll give you a copy if you want. So it, there's a way to get things to undo 
So always make sure you know what you're doing. That's what I want you to know is don't be hasty. Don't get too quick or you'll accidentally erase something that you want to keep. Now this Kingston drive is empty. Your camera is empty. All of the memory space is ready for you to take pictures again. I'm going up here and I see it's empty. And then right here, I'm going to right click it. And down here you see eject. This is a very important step. Click eject and wait. And now it's safe for you to take this drive out of the computer after you tell the computer to eject it. And you can go down and just pull it out and it will tell you now it's gone. So that's how you get your files off and onto your desktop. Well, there you have it. Now you've seen how to do it. You can get the pictures and the movies off of your camera and put them on your desktop. And then once you've done that, you can erase them from your camera and that will leave lots of empty space for you to take new pictures and make new movies. And while they're on your desktop, we'll be using them from that location to bring them into our editing software. And that will be another video which I'll make for you later. So right now, make sure you get all your pictures and save them safely onto your desktop. Maybe put them in a folder and then we'll have them ready to use when we come to the next part, which is how to make your movie or slideshow. See you next time.